Welcome to another episode of Off the Plugin Chain. I'm your host, Dr. Tom. Today's video is going to be a blind test comparison of four VST compressor plugins. The application I'm going to use for the comparison test is called Blind Test by HOFA Plugins. That stands for Hall of Fame Audio. They're a company out of Germany, and this is their user manual. Scrolling through here, they talk about how when you're trying to compare plugins, you can be uh, influenced by things like a, a really nice looking interface. And one thing for sure is that louder signals often are perceived as better sounding by a lot of people. So this plugin enables you to compensate for loudness uh, across the plugins, which is a really nice feature. Scrolling down talks about the installation. If you want to check out Blind Test or any of their other plugins, they have the URL there, hofa-plugins.de slash en slash downloads. The plugins have a 14-day test period. There is, however, a freeware version, and the freeware version has the same feature set as the license plugin. So the only restriction is that you can only compare up to three plugins at one time. Other than that, it has the same feature set as uh, the, the licensed version. If you decide that you want the licensed version, it runs €39.90, Euro, uh, and that is converted right now to about $47.32. So when I bought the plug-in, it ran me about $50, so it might depend on the strength of the dollar um, and the the conversion rate of the euro at whatever time you decide to buy. So something to keep in mind. All right, so we're going to take a look at the plugins and we're going to use uh, Persona Studio One. Here we are. We've got four tracks, four different plugins. Each track has a little song that I wrote actually about 20 years ago almost, back in 2002. It's called Trumpet Solitaire. It starts off with a drum beat, and then it's got kind of a synthy pad sound, and then uh, a solo trumpet. Well, it's the only other instrument. There's there's just three instruments. So still, I call it Trumpet Solitaire. Anyways, uh, the four plugins that we're going to take a look at are as follows. The first one is called the Leveling Tool by ADHD Audio Tools. This is a freeware uh, plugin, uh, nice price. You'll notice it's got uh, some different knobs here, gain, peak reduction. It's got your standard attack, release, and ratio that you see on a lot of compressors. It's also got a dry wet knob so that you can actually add reverb. I set it to zero for dry wet uh, for the purposes of this test. This plugin actually doesn't have any presets, so you would have to kind of figure out how to fiddle around with these knobs and how to adjust them. The second one we're going to look at is called the CLA-2A by Waves Audio. This has been around for a while. It's a pretty high quality plugin. This plugin is not freeware. It actually has a pretty pricey price tag. It uh, retails for $249. Now, I would never buy this plugin for that amount, um, considering they run it on sale for $59, and then you can get coupon codes where you can actually get it down to $35. So, the Waves plugins usually have a pretty high price tag, but they're run on sale quite frequently, so I would never pay full price for a Waves plugin, and neither should you. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, the next one is, this is called the IALA-1 by Initial Audio. And the uh, preset I have set on it is called saturation or saturated compression. I actually turned the saturation off. I just uh, used this preset to kind of adjust the knobs, uh, to see how this, this plugin worked. And if you wanted to use the saturation, you'd go to this knob here, Total Harmonic Distortion. Right now I've got it set to zero. But if you were to turn that up, then you would get some 
some nice coloration. Uh, one of the nice features of this plugin is that there isn't a whole lot that you have to tweak. There, there aren't a whole lot of knobs and dials and such. Before I move on from this one, this one retails for $79, but you can quite frequently find it on sale for $19. So that's a good price. All right, now next is the White 2A from the T-Rex collection. Uh, this is produced by IK Multimedia. This one retails for $99. I don't recall what I paid for it, but it wasn't that much. Uh, I believe I got it in a bundle. So with all of these plugins, if you don't opt for the leveling tool, I would definitely say, you know, um, keep an eye out for sales. You should never have to pay full price if you don't have to. You'll notice it has a really nice clean interface with just a few knobs. And the setting, this one has presets, and this one is set to soft compression. I tried to use uh, the settings from this one in particular to, to use for the other three plugins, so I did my best to try to adjust them all to the same setting. This one is a uh, soft compression setting, and you can drive these, these compressors real hard if you wanted to, but I think what you find is when you use the LA-2A emulations, just a little bit of compression goes a long ways. It's a really nice, nice compressor. So it's good that there's different options available, um, all the way from freeware to, you know, some nice sale priced uh, plugins. Okay, so those are the four plugins, and here we're going to open up Blind Test. You can see you can you can label the plugins over here. So I've got those labeled, and then actually I'm going to pop off of here so that we can just uh, take a look at the screen without me taking up uh, real estate in uh, Studio One. So you'll notice. Um, there's star ratings. You can assign uh, different ratings for uh, the different plugins, and then it shows you uh, some things, uh, EBU and gain. So those are nice features. What you need to do to get the loudness compensation, and you'll see it down here. All these things are available if you go to the settings up here, and you you can turn on notes. So you can actually write notes. That's kind of a nice feature. But I'm going to turn that off. You can show the stars and, and gains, and then also the EBU loudness, and that's that this toolbar right here. To get the compensation feature to work, you have to run each plugin separately, and then it'll analyze them. And then after it's done analyzing the plugins that, that you set up uh, onto each track, then you can uh, click on the compensate. Without doing the analyze first, you're not able to do the compensate. So I would definitely recommend that. So then you get the relative uh, same loudness of each plugin. Because like uh, Hofa says, it's, it's one of these things, It's I don't know if it's human nature or what, but quite frequently we tend to think that the louder plugin sounds better, even if it isn't. So let's see, let's just make sure we got all these all right, I'm going to turn that off. We don't need that on for right now. Okay, and the other thing is we're going to do two rounds. So you can do it as a single round or you can do it as a series, uh, multiple rounds. And so, oh, five. We're going to do two. So we got that set up. And when I hit start, then the names are going to go away. And it's essentially going to reorder the plugins at random. So even though they're listed in this track order, we're not going to listen to them in that track order once I hit start. So here we go. Here's the first round. So there it is. Rolls the dice. And with uh, the first one, make sure I got it rewound. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> So that one didn't sound bad. I think I would give that four stars. There we go. Oh, here we go. All right. Sometimes it's a little finicky with the plugging the stars in. Okay, so here's number two. And we're going to see how this one sounds. Oops. Okay, we got to rewind it. 
Okay, uh, this is getting a little tricky here. Uh, I'd say this is getting to be kind of a judgment call. I think I would give that one three stars. Okay, and then moving on to the third plug-in. Make sure it's rewound. Okay, here we go. Okay, that one I think I would give four again, and then on to the fourth one. And that one I think I would go back to three on that one. That was the first round, and now we're going to click next. Rolls the dice. Okay, so these are in a different order yet again. And so we'll play the first track. Make sure it's rewound. Here we go. That one I would give four. We are okay. Going to the next one. Okay, that one I would give three, and then here we go. Track number three. Next. Okay, that one I give three. Last time we had two fours and two threes, so sometimes when I've done these, I don't always give the same ratings each time. So that's part of the blind test, uh, and there's some other things I actually want to talk about after this. So here's the fourth one. <laughs> Okay, I think I gave that one a three last time. I think I know which one that is. I'm going to give it a four just to round it out though. And let's see, the results are the leveling tool and the IA LA1 had the best ratings. And then the CLA 2A and the white 2A had uh, slightly less scores. The thing on this is since it was across a full mix, the entire file was compressed. You have to be careful when you do that with uh, a whole mix because you know the whole sonic field is going to get compressed it'd probably be better to actually run these on separate individual instrument tracks and then maybe use some compression on the full mix at the end so what was kind of maybe misleading or deceiving at certain points is that you could get a very crisp sounding drum beat but then i was focusing in on how it set with the whole mix as far as how it set with the trumpet above it if some of you were watching a video and are thinking how on earth did i rate a freeware plug-in and the ia la1 as being better than the cla 2a and the white 2a then you know i kind of understand why you might think that for most purposes i i found that the white 2a has really good sound but the leveling tool and the ia la1 uh these were recent acquisitions that i just uh got those plugins so uh the leveling tool I, I didn't pay too much for donationware 
the IALA one, nineteen dollars. The IALA one also has that nice uh, total harmonic distortion uh, uh, feature, so then you can add some coloration. You know, this was just a, an example. Maybe my ratings aren't nef necessarily definitive, but this was just uh, an example, so that you can kind of see how you can compare different plugins, and you can do it in a, bl a blind test manner. And then, of course, you got that loudness compensation, which really helps you so that you don't you aren't necessarily led to uh, just choose the the loudest one as being the best one all right so I think that's uh, all I'm gonna do on that kind of an interesting plug-in uh, I haven't really worked with it that much but I, I plan on using it a lot more and um, this was just kind of a quick little thing that I put together for this video but just to kind of illustrate how you could rate different plugins you could do it you know from a, a blind test uh, perspective I plan on doing some more of these where maybe I'll look at um, effects of different reverbs uh, maybe equalizers but uh, definitely I want to take a look at some gain staging plugins by going through blind test as well as some uh, channel strips that I have and seeing how those compare so those will be coming down the pike as well uh, I kind of wanted to put this one together uh, the last uh, video I did was on creativity there was no music at all at all so you know if, if you're tuning in wanting musical examples and you were disappointed um, I guess I could understand that so I'm trying to mix these up a little bit try to live up to the the namesake of the, the the video series off the plugin chain so we should look at some plugins <laughs> all right so I think that's all we're going to talk about and uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in and as always be safe Stay well and keep being creative.